That might make it look nicer. Let's try again. That looks pretty good. And standby mode. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to do, because I don't have time to actually do it when uh, uh, when the week is happening, is some of you have asked how I make things travel around the screen here. And I figured it would be a good idea to not only... Fi I don't know why this all broke, but it did. And we can't cry over spilled milk, right? We just have to deal with it. Okay. All right. So you see me. Okay. We've, as you can tell over here, that's my face. I've got a little uh, shadow behind it. I've got the, the keyboard up here. Uh, but more or less, that is a bunch of sources within OBS. So we're gonna do a little OBS mini tutorial right now. So get your notepads out, okay? And we wanna make things move. So right now, this is what I would consider game mode, okay? And when you play game mode, it's gonna play a sound. Uh, let me click it. Okay, you heard that? It goes a little swoosh, right? And that's just a little little thing. So I'm gonna go into game mode. So what we gotta do here is you have to install a, a third-party extension code, OBS Tools by Bar Raider. And what that does is that it, that, that communicates to OBS through a web socket, and that web socket has to be installed prior on OBS, and that looks like this. Okay, enable WebSocket server on a certain port with, and you can actually make authentication if you're on a multiple network uh, system. Otherwise, it's just gonna point to itself and it knows exactly where to go. Okay, so you gotta make sure that you have that, uh, that plugin installed on OBS before you can even do anything. So now, uh, in addition, I believe you also have to have a specific plugin on here oh i think it's called like stream effects or something like that and that adds in a few more filters okay so i watched a video on this so i'm gonna be real hazy on the explanation so you're just gonna have to trust me right now in obs you got your sources right and i got i got quite a few on here you got your twitch chat you got your game intro Right, you got your uh, the emotes that fly across the screen when we're in Twitch. Here's the keyboard, boom, 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 right? Your, uh, the chat box, that is YouTube. So when I press that, you should see that, right? But right now we want it hidden because this is technically game mode. And during game mode, we don't want the chat to take over the screen. So what we wanna do is in most cases, I just do display capture. I don't do game capture because I, I then have would have to switch the game. It, it doesn't recognize it for me all the time, so I just do display capture, just a little easier for me. Uh, and then, of course, we have the just chatting in the background, which is that. Okay. So we want to make the display capture smaller. We want to make this camera larger, right? And then move some things around just to make it look real fancy. And the way you do that is by messing with filters. You can mess with filters directly on sources, but in this case, I actually have to mess with filters, right? This is my entire scene you're looking at. And then I have all these filters, which by the way, are already there. Like these are, these are existing. So if I wanted to go into say, uh, cam display mode, watch this, it gets bigger. And then if I click this, it gets smaller, right? If I do DC small, watch this, but look, DC game. Let's see, here's the keyboard left, keyboard right. And then that's basically show chat, hide chat's the same thing. It does the same thing. It either hides it or makes it disappear. So if I, sh if I show that uh, chat here, watch, there's the chat again. And there it goes again. So I have to place these filters into here as a multi-action to trigger them, if that makes sense because all we're doing is saying it, I need you to, to perform this. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, all right, we're gonna add a filter toggle. Okay, filter toggle one. The source is game. 
the fill so the source is game see the filters up here game the filter name and this is game mode so we have to do cam game mode okay and then we're going to do another filter and we have to say game oh we're back in the classroom for sure you're gonna yeah you're gonna learn this you, I, you need to learn this okay we're also going to choose dc game okay so i can actually change this to dc game and i can change this to cam game okay and i want to fix this because i actually enjoy the this feature of my own stream all right and now we're going to do youtube chat source name is game again right it has to always be game but this time i'm hiding the chat hide chat because i don't want it to be there and we're coming back into another filter and that's going to be game again uh, gamepad right we're just going to put gamepad r okay filter toggle game it's a little tedious but once you get the hang of it it uh, gets a little easier here all right, so I did keyboard right, KB right, KB right. Okay, here we go. Game, filter name. What's the next one down the list? Twitter, twit, game, TWG. Okay. And then filter title there. There will be a quiz at the end of this session, so I hope you're paying attention. It's not true, but that would be fun. And HD 60 game. HD 60 game. All right, now I can't actually test this just yet because I have to do the opposite one now. So I'm gonna actually go out of game mode, go into standby mode. Okay, I'm actually, just because I'm, I don't want things to get messed up, I'm deleting all these. All right, and I'm going to re-add them one by one. And now I'm going to do the exact opposite, right? Oh, you know I'm paying attention. Yes, sir. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually hit game. And then what I think I can do is um, just paste these, right? And now game is automatically selected. So I did it the slow way, and now I'm doing it the fast way because I can do, do just game straight across. Okay, so what we're going to do is now we're going to go cam standby. Cam stand by okay and then we're going to go uh dc small and that's display capture by the way dc small okay and then we are going to go show chat okay show chat and then we are going to go show twitch chat just in case we're uh, across the way there pad left Okay, and this is going to be gamepad left. And I choose to throw that to the left because my camera gets abnormally large. And I want that to be on the other side. Okay, we're going to paste that. All right, and now we're going to do HD 60 standby. Oh, hello. HD 60 standby. All right, so let's just check. All right, we got cam big dc small show the chat show the twitch chat maybe gamepad left hd60 standby keyboard left i think that sounds about right let's give it a shot so if we do this correctly we're going to hit the standby mode and things should move and rotate okay great success there Right? And then if we do go game mode, that should just disappear. That's really that's really the goal there. Let's try this one. Twitch. Hello? Chat? Hello? Uh 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 that comes up again. I'm gonna have a meltdown. I'm gonna have a meltdown soon. I'm gonna have a meltdown soon. You already know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. What we're going to do here is we're going to remove, we're removing it. Removing that. You're not, you're not funny. All right. So outside of the chatting, and by the way, this is a great tutorial. Everything works.
Okay, there it is. Now let's go back to standby mode. Now you get to actually, well, you get to kind of see. So now what I have to do is I'm gonna go, I have to make the filters. Okay, so right now we are technically in what that would call the standby mode. Now when I click game mode over here, should go away now what i would like to do is i'm actually going to make that thing go away immediately so i'll move that up to the top okay let's see what standby looks like i might actually have it fire before the keyboard goes to the left that might make it look nicer let's try again that looks pretty good and standby mode Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. And uh, really, there you have it. 